Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Celine Dile, aka Slee. If you are new, welcome, you are welcome. Today I have a word of encouragement and just a word of faith. So recently I had joined a club, a spiritual class based on Christianity. And one of those teachers was preaching about faith, about how faith needs to be just that assurance, that knowing, that settling in your spirit, that things are going to work out. So obviously the content was very rich. I cannot dive into a lot of it, but all I can say what I took up from it is that faith is an assurance. You know how you have an assurance that you will have a chair and you will sit on it and it will not be moved. How you have an assurance that your parents or your sisters or whoever uh, loves you. How you have an assurance that when you start your car, it will take you to where you're going. That's the same way we need to have faith, okay? We need to have faith that God will come through in whatever we trust in Him. So obviously in Hebrews 11 verse 1, we hear of uh, faith being the assurance of things not seen, the evidence of things that we hope for. And also in the book of Hebrews, we see a lot of, of our forefathers, our ancestors, like Abraham, like Abel, like Sarah, who believed, who had faith that he would come through. They hoped, they believed, some of them acted on the faith. So there's a different posture in which God wants us to react in having faith in him. So I don't want to take this, I don't want to make this video very long, but the only thing I can tell you for you to have this faith is you need to spend time in the word of God. You will be able to just see God, God in so many different ways, his character, his nature, and his just assurance of what he has for you. So please get into your Bible, especially in the season where things are just going a bit haywire. If believers do not know what's in the word, they will believe every doctrine that is sent out right now in our world. So I pray that you walk in this week with that assurance that God is on your side. Just like you have an assurance that when you switch on the kettle, it will boil. Just like you have an assurance when you start your car, the gears will move to another point. And I think it's so important that as believers that we need to have that confidence. One of the natures of Satan is that he has that assurance that evil obviously assurance in knowing that if i accuse you as a child of god you will disturb your purpose and the, the things that god has for you there's a point in my life that i went through a lot just fighting in spiritual warfare i'm not saying that i've arrived but there was a time where really i was really uh, getting delivered by certain monitoring spirits things that were just happening against me since I was a child so I know that Jesus is the only one that can save me no other person can save me I don't care what you come with who you have to come to some back door it does not work like that so I pray that you take this word I pray that it bears fruit and I pray that you wake up with that assurance that I'm gonna have a great day and even if the day tries to act all crazy I'm gonna switch things around and have a great day because the God that I serve will be watching over me so guys I hope you have an awesome day and remember faith is an assurance assurance of things hoped for and God reacted he is triggered he's inspired by our faith and nothing else you know one of the things that Jesus continuously asks if you believe do you have faith? So for him to work in us, he cannot work in an environment that has disbelief. So force yourself, ask the Holy Spirit to give you the zeal and the energy to have faith in him. Pray that you have an awesome day and bye.